Hey guys, I'm Louise and this is Isaac from Mediocre Geek. And today we are going to be guiding you on four features you probably didn't know about the ES5 Explorer. So let's get started guys. Okay, so to use the batch rename function, all you need to do is open up ES File Explorer. Once you open up ES File Explorer, you navigate to your internal storage or your memory card and the folder where you have the files located. Select the files that you want to rename and you select rename at the bottom here where my thumb is. Once you select rename, it's going to ask you input a new name for this demonstration I'm going to use more on the start number I'm going to put one and okay as you can see it has renamed all the photos I have here just to more one more two up to more 25 so ES file explorer is actually a powerful tool to manage space on your device and I'm going to demonstrate two tools you can use to manage space with ES File Explorer. One is the storage analyzer. It says here space analyzer. And all you need to do to use it is just to type on analyze and it's going to analyze and give you a result which it has done. It shows all your files from the folder that occupies more space to the folder that occupies least space and also files. Down here, it says here large files. Large files consist of files larger than 10 megabytes on your device. So you can actually track down what is taking up storage on your device. And the second feature ES File Explorer has for managing space is the cleaner. All you need to do is just tap on cleaner like I did. And it's going to analyze and show you what you can remove from your device to free space. Now I have some thumbnail data and some other information that i can clean out which i'm going to do and now i'm able to gain 262 megabytes of space so guys another nifty feature about the es file explorer is file encryption for this demonstration i'm going to encrypt this image as you can see right here so what i'm going to do is tap and hold go down to more and then hit encrypt and then i have to set a password for this demonstration hit test as the password and i'll confirm it right here again as test and I hit ok and it's encrypted successfully you can see that so now to get back i go back to the home menu and go down to this encrypted hit it and then you can see the encrypted file so tap and hold repeat the same process and then decrypt write on the password and it's decrypted successfully you can see that the first step is to turn on your mobile hotspot now it varies in different versions and skins of android so you have to figure out how to do that on your particular device next up open up es file explorer once es file explorer opens up locate the small down arrow below the icons menu and tap view on pc if everything is configured correctly you should see ap enabled below network status so tap turn on once you turn it on you should see an address here an ftp address now it should be the same as mine as long as your data connection is turned off now after taking note of the address you're provided with on es file explorer simply connect to your wi-fi network as i've already done here open up windows explorer and at the top right bar type in the address and i've already typed that so i'm just going to tap on it and hit enter and as you can see i've successfully accessed my device you can drag and drop as you please as though you were connected via a usb connection that's it for today's video guys don't forget to hit that like button please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you miss any future videos see ya